Hey, what's up, Buck fans? Welcome back to Real Bucks Talk, where we discuss everything Tampa Bay Buccaneers. If that's something you're interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you can stay up to date with our latest content. With that said, let's just jump into the biggest new addition to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, seems like a Pro Bowl team, that is Leonard Fournette. Plus, I'll let you do the first analysis of this big boy and what do you like about him? Yeah, Leonard Fournette, I mean, he gets the perception of being a power back, but this guy is like very quick and elusive, um, as you see here. I mean, just his ability to make things happen in the hole is very impressive. I mean, I mean, just look at that, just always moving his legs forward. So, I mean, he does at times show that power, but again, it's not something he's relying on. I mean, he's just quick and fast, and that at six foot, you know, 225, I mean, he's just, <laughs> it's hard to stop him when he gets going. It's really fun to watch. Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing I think, it's you're not going to arm tackle him, and it's not the first five yards that he's most dangerous in. It's it's after that, once momentum gets him going. I mean, it, look at the gaps he's hitting and then how fast he's hitting there. There's a safety out here in the corner of your screen that you're going to see come up. First, he beats Luke Keekley to the spot. No hands on him. Eric Reed's right there to get to him. Just destroys that space and just gets up the sideline. So he's fast. He's not just a big bruiser. And that's something where people kind of get... I guess misunderstood that he's just a bruiser and he'll just plow right through. He's more of a more well-rounded type of guy. Again, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you look at this, let this run play. I mean, just, I mean, just the quick subtleness and then, yeah, I mean, continue to go forward, you know, break tackles. Like you said, arm tackles aren't going to do it. Uh, I agree. I mean, once he gets going, he's like a freight train, but he's very like, it's not like, uh, you know, Jerome Bettis type. It's, he can make things happen with his feet. Like he's very elusive with his footwork. So he can make guys miss. Um, as you see him here, again, similar play where he's just gonna bounce this. Look at that bounce right there. He and then just running through guys. I mean, you, you gotta you gotta that. laugh at this. Marshawn Lattimore is going straight face down, but like you just said, immediately reacting to bounce this thing outside because the middle's gone. Arm tackles don't work. And then yes. Lattimore, get the hell off of me, get twice, <laughs> and then a little shoestring tackle. But, I mean, overall, this is once he gets momentum going, like I was saying, he's going, pushing, it's hard to bring him down in open field. Yeah, definitely. I mean, his his speed is just very impressive. I mean, you look at him here, it looks like nowhere to go. He makes the guy miss and, you know, gets extra yards. So his ability to, to run and, and outrun angles is very impressive and, this is the reason why this guy was a top 10 running back last season. I mean, over 1,600 yards total combined. So this guy's no slouch. A very talented player. That's why he was a top five pick as well. Right, fourth I overall. Mean, yeah. I mean, just look at that ability to change direction. His COD right here. Right here. Watch this one. Plant yeah. that foot. I mean, it's not LaShawn McCoy-esque, but... I mean, that's putting the quarterback right on his butt. And here's another. Watch him here. This is a nice little formation they got here. I'm going to pull the guards. He sets it up nicely with patience and then just, you know, still running hard. Um, well, I like he's, like he's patient here. I mean, look, he's yeah. waiting for these pulling guards and tackles to get over there. He's waiting. He's waiting. Pick up the two blocks. He's right on the butt of the guard and tackle. Breaks through the shoestring tackle, and then the awareness to see that, okay, Vic Beasley's right behind me. I'm not going to let him get me. Face plant, get out of bounds. Mm. All right, and then here we go. Again, momentum with space. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> just face plant everyone into the ground. I mean, that just, what can't you like about his running style? Yeah, and it's a well-rounded running style, and that's what's very impressive. I mean, he's got speed, but then also he can show ability to, like you said, break tackles like this with a stiff arm get extra yards, still make a productive play because really he had nowhere to go here. I mean, this is not the best blocked. I mean, he's facing two guys behind the line of scrimmage. So this is pretty much, imagine this formation with Tom Brady. So you're just telling Fournette, well, oh, drag out there. Let's spread it out. Let's see what the Saints run. A cover one. So immediately, let's look at the mismatches across the field. You have one deep safety. Okay, guys. You have Fournette. He's going to run across. It doesn't even matter what this guy does. Imagine if you have Gronk. Imagine if you have Chris Godwin, Mike Evans. I mean, with one deep safety, this whole side of the field is going to be wide the hell open. 
It's just the, the opportunities we're going to have with Tom Brady and the weaponry he's going to be able to throw out there every damn game. And then you have a guy that can catch the ball like that on a route. I mean, that's special. I'll let you bring yeah. that out more. Yeah, I mean, you just look at you look at the four net here going out wide. And this is receiver S. This is not no slouch route. I mean, he does a nice little hesitation there. You know, puts Demario Davis on his on his uh, back toes here and really gets him off balance. And a nice little, it's almost like a pick play, um, and you have a lot of space there to work with. So that's fun to fun to see. But if you look at the guy on the top of the slot, we were talking about this before um, the recording. You imagine that being OJ Howard or Gronk, like Mark said. I mean, that's a probably easy touchdown for Tom Brady um, if he shifts his eyes over here to the right. Because right, it's, it's all yeah. about mismatches. I mean, if you're going to pay that much attention to Fournette, you can't do that in our offense. You have so yeah. many p- pieces that you got to cover. you got to give attention to. Here yeah, he is. Here, yep, bottom of the screen. And you watch Fournette. This is just really natural. Nice little curl route. Makes guys miss. Devin White, what were you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, Devin White dominated this game, but still, Levin Fournette needs to show his ability in open space. Again, he's well-rounded. It's not just a bruiser. He can make moves in space and then pick up yards with momentum. That's what I like about him. Check out this catch on this one. I'll let you break it down. And the different shoes, too. One-handed. Yeah, yeah, that's oh. just... And making guys miss. I mean, this, this is what makes him special because... Like you said, in the open field, I mean, he's just a different animal, and it's it's hard to bring him down. You know, just easy one hand catch. So he's very natural, very natural with uh, pass catching, and then just being able to put moves together, <laughs> puts the extra stiff arm there. You know, make sure he's down. So you gotta love, you gotta love that. You see what he is in the passing game. Get open, just get him in space. I mean, this is a Tom Brady special. Just throw it to a running back in space against a linebacker, and let him pick up yards. And you can't tackle him with just arms you got to bring him towards his legs and then momentum bring him through tackles it's hard to get him down yeah i really like that and what i like most about that play is he doesn't go out of bounds so that's nice to see you know continue to stay in bounds get more yards yeah, he's initiating the contact just trying yeah. to pick up more i mean after that look he picks up what five six more yards yep yeah very impressive dangerous most impressive <laughs> I mean, just look at that play right there. I mean, that's just a little dump off, and he ends up getting what 15 yards because they're not, you know, on him. And his acceleration to get, I mean, it's almost 20 yards. It looks like. I mean, that's just you could see the Bucks doing that all day, you know, especially with their backs that they have. Really also, impressive. I mean, just check out how natural he is at catching the ball here. I mean, it's a little bit behind him, so he has to turn and then immediately get upfield. Some people's legs would have probably gotten tangled there, but. Very natural hand catcher and then get upfield quick. Yeah, it's all one motion, which is nice to see. Um, you know, here again, going out in the swing. Bad nice pass. little catch. <laughs> yeah, bad pass. Nice little catch. And then, yeah, just, I mean, that move right there to be able to see that coming. Like, this is high level stuff. Like, you just, you can't. Anticipation, right? Yeah, you can't teach that. That's what great running backs do. They see things before they occur. Yeah, so it's just being aware where he is on the field because like, he has to know, okay, a linebacker's got to be coming down at me. And then this ball looks, I don't know what the hell kind of type of throw that is. So he's already <laughs> immediately planting his outside foot, planting into the ground so he can turn up field, pick up some yards. So Because he knows momentum's coming after him. Use that to his advantage, pick it up, make another move immediately, and almost gets in the end zone. Yeah, this is where maybe if he did have a lot, little bit more power, could bulldoze through, but... Mm-hmm. Damn, that could have been just a, a catch right there at the 12-yard line, tackled, but no, he gets up, almost gets a touchdown. Yeah. Pretty now, good player. <laughs> you know, yeah, I mean, here, work, work in the screen game. Guys can't tackle him with their arms. Like, it's just not going to happen. You know, the guy's just too broad, too big, too fast. And, yeah, you just can't, you can't bring him down with one arm. So, compliment this with Rojo, with McCoy. I mean, McCoy's going to make you miss. And then you bring in Rojo and Leonard Fournette, who will just just lay the wood on you. This one, I want you to watch him here. So he's first immediately going to get a chip block on JPP here. Almost puts JPP on his butt. And then presents himself to as a target. Sees all these guys in front of him. No, I'm going to pick up yards. But JPP, hustle player he is, comes in and makes a tackle on Fournette. So I, it's also a JPP highlight, but Fournette... <laughs> 
picking up some yards after a big chip block. So he's a willing blocker. Yeah, and, and that's what's so exciting about this addition because stuff like this is going to be available for Tom Brady in the offense. I mean, he's going to have space like this because you have said weapons, you know, going downfield. So that's what makes it really good, and it's going to make the offense more efficient. Now we transfer into his uh, pass blocking ability, and you can see he's definitely – he's got that – that juice that you want he's willing to put his uh, body in there yeah, it's just awareness of what's coming in front of him so the center leaves this massive a gap for him so he just pulls up blocks him and he gets presents himself as an option to be a pass catcher right so i mean it, awareness of what's coming at him again look at his eyes here he's looking all the way over here he's counting okay he should be there he should be there everything's picked up where's gonna be the blitzer and the white blitzer is on the whole other side of the field and he jumps in there, makes a block. Yeah, you'd want to see him on his feet, but still, that's a knowledge of where the blitz is coming from, giving his quarterback time. Would you like? Yeah, yeah, no, that's really good. And he understands that this is a quick passing play. Uh, the ball should be out pretty quick. So he's just doing his job and making sure that he disrupts that blitz enough to give uh, Minshew enough time to throw. It's a really good job there. Again, look at the awareness. He's calling out, okay, this guy could be coming in, so pick him up. I don't know if you're, he's telling Minshew or if he's telling the, the offensive line. But still, he's looking at the options that could be coming in, right? And what does he do? He picks up an extremely fast player in Deion Sanders. Or Deion Sanders. Deion <laughs> Jones. Again, this is what he's going to be seeing this year as well. Gives his quarterback time, but his quarterback just doesn't make a good throw. What would you like? Yeah, No, I just like the communication, like you pointed out. That's very important, especially in bl uh, blitz pickup. And to do this against Deion Jones is, is really impressive. He just, you know, not perfect technique, but he does his job as far as getting his body in there and just stonewalling Jones enough. But it's the willingness to, to be a blocker like that. Again, here, Absolutely. laying his body out there. I mean, Tom Brady, he needs time to throw the ball, let's be honest. And mm -hmm. then you can see this being an O.J. Howard. Oh, I got all this space here? Okay, he's just going to dismantle this outside rusher here. I believe it's a cornerback, but... He pretty much bullies him right back into the crowd. Just stay there. Don't move. Get out of my way. I'm going to tell you where to go. And this is willing blocker using his power, his leverage, staying low on this one. This is good, actually. Pushing him in. God. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, yeah, that's the stuff you want to see. Like, BA is not worried about it. And this is the most I've actually looked into a pass blocker at running back. What would you like? No, this is perfect. I mean, that's just being physical and knowing that you're bigger and you're more dominant and he just takes that guy out. That's a, I was more distracted by that rush on the right side. That was a really good rush move by, I don't know if that's Harold Landry or whoever, but or Derek Moore, really, maybe. probably really good. Um, but yes, yeah, same thing here. I mean, he's just keeping that guy out, you know, Saints uh, trying to send a blitz and does a great job of just understanding where it's coming from and then taking that said player out of the picture and his eyes he's just seeing okay obviously this side is way more loaded than this side mm -hmm. so pick up the blocks picture who's coming in who's not and just dispose of them i mean look how far out he pushes this guy yeah so you're not getting to my quarterback to stay out there huge addition by the bucks i mean this is an area they didn't really necessarily need but a big improvement, a big upgrade. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, adding Leonard Fournette, I think, is going to be a great addition. Um, as we showed here in the t in the film study, I mean, he's just a very well-rounded player. And to be honest, I don't think he's reached his potential um, yet, and that's kind of scary. So excited to see him in a Buccaneer uniform. And, uh, you know, I pre fans, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. And as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below.